Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Today we're going to talk about swim baits and more specifically we're going to talk about the real little boot tailed swim baits like this little Kitek right here. You know, over the time of doing this YouTube channel, I get tons and tons of questions from viewers, but probably more questions geared towards swim baits. And lately I've had a whole bunch of questions regarding this guy right here. And generally the question goes something along the lines of, you know, everyone tells me I need to throw a small Kitek swim bait. Are there other small swim baits that can compete with this? Meaning, should this be the only one you're using or are there other ones that they should be thinking about using as well? So I wanna kinda of walk you through some of the small swim baits that I like to use. It may actually surprise you a little bit in my answers. Now, obviously, I do like to throw a small Kitek, but there are times and places where I do not. And I would actually add that I feel like right now, there's a lot of fish that are getting accustomed to this bait. And not just this bait, but small swim baits in general. You know, there was a period when it first came out early on in kind of the, the small swim bait craze where I feel like the fish just hadn't seen it. And it was such a simple, small snack that you could catch fish extremely easily with it. And, you know, if you went to a place like Lake Lanier or Lewis Smith Lake, like Spotted Bass Lakes, it was almost like they had never seen it before. And they hadn't seen it before. But now it's at the point where everybody's throwing one. And the fish are definitely not as, uh, they're, they're just conditioned. They're not biting it as well. It's still a great bait. Don't get me wrong. Small swim baits are still dynamite. I just feel like there's a, a, a little bit more that goes into getting the fish to commit to eating your bait than there used to be. But I want to walk you through the baits that I use, kind of give you some reasoning as to why and where I like to use them. But I just want to let you guys know that the swim baits are one of the things, one of the areas, especially the small swim baits, where I feel very, very comfortable using the baits that I, I've developed a lot of confidence in. And therefore, there's a lot of really good swim baits on the market that I have not used yet. Most soft plastic manufacturers have at least one, if not two or three different boot tail swim baits in their lineup. And it would be silly for me to sit here and say, I've tried them all. So in the comment section, guys, I want you guys to share what ones you like so that other viewers can learn from you. These are the ones I like, but again, there are a pile of small boot tail swim baits on the market that I have never thrown. I have never even taken or held in my hand before. So I, I don't want to sit here and say that these are the only ones you should throw. These are the ones that I throw. I've got a ton of confidence in. And I'm pretty much sticking with them at this point until I do find something maybe down the road that I think should replace one of them. But at this point, I'm very comfortable with them. So we're going to walk through those. Uh, I do want to ask, though, guys, if you watch the videos on a regular basis, please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, uh, it's a great way to show your support. And if you're looking to support in a different way and you need to purchase some tackle, please use my Tackle Warehouse affiliate link. I'll put that in the video description for you. So let's talk about these small guys. So this one right here, I would say is without a doubt the fan favorite. This is uh, the Kitek Fat Impact or Swing Impact Fat. This is the 2.8 size. I'm going to kind of consider for the sake of this video, the 2.8, 3.3, 3.8 size uh, swim baits as being your small size swim bait. So in this case, this little guy right here is dynamite. I have won a pile of money on a 2.8 and a 3.3 swim bait. Now, having said that, I do think the fish are getting slightly conditioned to it. And what I want to point out with this guy is that it has immense tail action, meaning your bait is coming in and I feel like your tail is swinging back and forth very, very wide. Now, I think that's great in terms of generating uh, some additional water movement to let the fish identify your baits. But what I'm finding personally is in really clear situations, this bait is not working as well as a bait that's got a very, very tight tail kick. So if you ask me what is a bait that I like to throw when I've got a little bit of water clarity or a, a little bit of water discoloration, maybe you've got a little milkiness, maybe you've got uh, you know, sometimes you have a clear lake that has like a mud line that's forming, but it's creating an off colored water. Definitely. This is a bait that I like to throw, but having said that, if I'm fishing 
a place that is gin clear water, say Sturgeon Bay or the Great Lakes or, you know, natural lakes in upstate uh, New York or Wisconsin, Minnesota, what I actually prefer to throw is a Kitek Easy Shiner. Now this is the three inch size. So again, it's a very small bait, but the difference here is that small boot tail doesn't have the big side to side wag motion. It's got a much tighter tail kick and it looks to me very, very natural in the water. And I think it does a really good job at mimicking the natural minnows that are swimming around a lot of these clear water bodies uh, of water. And from that standpoint, I'm having a lot more success on, on small, small kicking uh, swim baits. It just seems like this is getting me more bites than I, than I am currently getting on a wider kicking small swim bait. So those are two that I really like. Now, if you're asking me to get a bait that kind of has a body profile of the swing impact fat, but has a real tight kick, one of my favorites is the Berkeley Power Swimmer. So you get the same profile, but their tail on it is very, very, uh, is, is it kicks very, very uh, less when compared to the, the swing impact. It has that same easy shiner kick where it's just very tight. And it has to do with the material. So this material is nowhere near as soft as, as your Kitex. And the thing with that is, so the Kitek gets way more tail kick, but the tail kick on the Berkeley is a lot less. So for me, if I'm looking for that profile, so if I'm fishing something that may be a little bit more off colored and I want that kicking motion, I'll actually go with the Power Swimmer over a Kitek. The other period where I like to go with this over a Kitek is when the fishing is really good. If I'm catching a pile of fish, I will go through Kitex regardless of kind, extremely quickly. Like, I mean, one fish and your kite tech could be ruined. If you haven't used a power swimmer, what you'll find is this material is tough. I mean, this stuff holds up so well. I can tell you the last time I was at Lake Champlain, we fished a bed fishing tournament and I was drop shotting a white, uh, I think it's sight flash, I think is the color. It's a white pearl, silvery color, a uh, little 2.8 Berkeley power swimmer, I went through one each day and I was catching tons and tons of smallmouth off beds. And it was simply because this material is so much tougher. In practice, I started with a sight flash Kitek and I would lose that bait on almost every fish or every couple of fish. So in situations where the fish are just really active and I wanna go through less baits, I will go with the power swimmer all the time over going with a Kitek because it's gonna save me a lot of money in the long run. So another bait that I've uh, come across this year that I actually really do like too, is this guy right here. This is a newer bait. This is the Cast 3-inch Prodigy. So it's a little bit more of a lifelike bait, has a very big uh, tail for the size, if you can see that. And what that does is it really gives the bait a lot more roll and a lot more movement than any other little swim bait that I know of. The other thing, and I don't know if you can hear this, but there's actually a slot in the front and it comes with a rattle chamber. So it's a very, very uh, small rattle, but what it does is it creates a little bit of sound and that's something different than a lot of other swim baits. Uh, you can remove that rattle if you want. It's just a little glass rattle if you can see it sticking out there. You can remove it, but they all come with that all placed in there. So if I'm fishing dirtier water, so if it's not just clear water that maybe has a little bit of color to it, but I'm fishing the river here or someplace that actually has, you know, six inches of visibility, I actually go like to go with this guy because he's got a ton of movement, a ton of tail kick and a little bit of rattle added to it. And therefore, to me, it seems like it gets more bites than something that is much more finesse. I mean, we're already talking about a finesse category, but now we're talking about something that just is going to create a little bit more kick, a little bit more wobble, just a little bit more uh, water displacement to let the fish really track that bait. And then the last one that I use a lot of, and this has been in my arsenal for years, is just the Little Dipper by Reaction Innovations. So this again, 
is more of your grass pig style bait, but I will use this for a lot of things from uh, small trailers. So if I'm throwing a small compact swim bait, or if I'm throwing, uh, I wanna fish a swim bait like this through some thicker grass, I can still rig this in a uh, Texas rigged manner and get this to come through the grass. Now, the reason I say I can do this versus some of the other swim baits is you've just got a little bit more body to it. You still have that tough, uh, tougher material, so it holds up well. But I just find that the little dippers come through grass much better than most of the other swim baits. So that's where we're at, guys. Those are the ones that I generally throw. I mean, if you were to ask me right now to go through the tackle room and pull out a bunch of other small swim baits, I might find a random bag here and there from, you know, something I tried or somebody gave me something. But realistically, these are the only ones that I carry on a regular basis. And those are the times that I like to use them. So I'd love to know from you guys, are there uh, other small swim baits I should be trying or the viewers should be trying? I'd love to hear from you guys what they are and where you like to throw them. So hopefully this answers some of those viewer questions because like I said, I've gotten a whole bunch recently regarding this. Um, so yeah, hopefully it answers those. Thanks for watching guys. I appreciate all of you guys watching on a regular basis. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned, a new one coming out tomorrow.